Okay, so we've seen this before. This is the old MCCB board from ProTech and we're upgrading the supply on this install and we're going to bring all these back over this way where they've been kind of, yeah, sort of, they have been secured, but we're going to tidy them up over into this MCCB board here that we've put up. So this is the Eaton one. You can see we've got our submain that goes off to that Hager board that's upstairs. This is a new submain we're putting in now to go off to the garage DB because the other one was undersized and it wasn't going to be long enough to take out of there and then bring across into here. So we're going to redo that. Um, if I swing you out this way, you can see we've got Mr. Bagley over there. We'll have a chat with him in a minute. You can see we're going to pop a bit of tray up along here because at the minute they were all kind of cleated up there. It's a bit scruffy, so we're going to tidy it up. There is still some other bits around here that want some attention as well. We can get all those tidied up. Then we can see we've loosely pulled in our 16mm 5 core here. So that's going to run across this tray over the top here and then into this board and we'll show you that as Matty's got on with it in a bit. Um, obviously we need a bit of wider tray at this end because we've got a few more cables joining the run and then out at this side we've just got the three that are going to sit on there. So we'll get some uni cut, pop them up on the wall and then run the tray along it. Um, in terms of the rest of the install we're going to get the power off on this one in a little bit and then I'll maybe do a time lapse of me wiring up the MCCB board that you can see if I get in some good lighting just behind me here So you see I think the last time we covered this we were missing this switch um, Connection kit so that's all in now once I've got it apart to get the main cable in I'll show you how all that works as well because I realize we missed that off on the last video So we'll make sure we cover that so if we look in here, you can see that's the MCCBs ready We've got the torque wrench that we're going to use to torque these up. I'll show you that as well in action and um, dressing all these away. For the time being, it's just a case of pulling these out. They're going to come back across. Um, above here, we've got some containment, and then we can drop them down onto this tray and into this board and secure everything up. And I'll show you it as we've moved it on just a little bit. So we've got Mr. Bagley with us today. John, JB, how are you, mate? Just for the record, I do work. Yeah, look, he's doing something. He's not just talking to camera. Yeah. He's cutting up <laughs> some of this unistrip that we're going to pop on the wall. You can see Matthew's just through there clearing the way at the minute. Um, John swapped from our grinder to his because apparently red's better than green. No, it's just a... <laughs> You're used to your own gear, aren't you, am, at the yeah. end of the day? I know exactly what you mean. So we're, going, we're just cutting a few lengths here. We're going to do about 10 lengths. Stick the strut on the wall about 400 or so apart. Um, get, and battery. get the get the tray on the wall on top of that and then we can fix all our cables uh, you can see we've got a little grinder under here actually so there is a little mini one as well that's another useful one if you're doing some little bits and pieces that little is, m12 yeah i've little, seen that that's nice that is yeah they're all right just for little bits i do you like were, your mixture of uh of your tools well with tackle tarts we've got tools of everything yeah right? so you're not like branded are you no no definitely. like i say we're just going to stick those battens john's done up along this run, mount the tray to it, and then we're good to go there. I'm just starting around this corner on the MCCB board. There's still lots of work to do to tidy all this up. It's not the best lighting, I do apologise. But you can see we've got our cables coming in the top here. I'll explain what all this is later on. I'm just going to start dressing some of these away now, and then we'll jump back on because we need to get cracking now. Okay, so you can see we've got the MCCB board in now. It's all powered up and wired. We was a bit under pressure, so I've not filmed a great deal of this, but I will pop some pictures up of what it looks like inside. Essentially, we've got our supply cable, which is the existing cable, into the main switch, and then our final circuit's out of there. This all needs a relabel, but it's late now. We're packing up to get off, and we'll pop back and do all of this tomorrow. Um, you can see around here, the guy's got the tray up so we spanned that with some tray neatened it all up and off it goes into that board there that was just a little extra we've done today and um 
yeah, like I say, we'll be back, get that labelled up so it looks nice and neat. We've got a few cable ties and stuff. I can quickly show you upstairs as well. Mr Bagley's just doing his sweeping up. Who says electricians don't clean, John? Oh, that's Matt, is he chucks his stuff everywhere. So if we look up here, you can see we've got that Hager board now, and it's all we've got is the new socket for the security guys. Nothing else on this is energised yet. So we've still got a little bit of tidying up here. Obviously, we need to bring all our cables in, pull them out from that board just down there. So that can all be tidied up. Still lots to do. Drop it into this trunk in, dressed away into this board, and then we can neaten everything up here. There's another section of containment we're going to put in and just tidy everything up. Um, but that's as and when we get to pull these cables out. So there's loads of steel wire armors to come out. We'll have to extend a few of them as well. So we're going to play that by ear on another Sunday. So you can see it's been a sweaty, difficult one. Um, I'm not making it up when we've just been too busy to record a lot today. I would have liked to get more footage than we did. I'll try and clip together as much as I can. Um, it's one of those when you're in on a weekend, this is a Sunday, up against it before the client comes back in and the power goes back on. You've just got to do what you've got to do. Um, and recording stuff for YouTube wasn't a priority. But yeah, we're there, we're there. All on. Like I say, this is the next stage now. So all of this needs tidying up. We've got these to come out. There's this meat to mess up that needs sorting out. There's all sorts still to be done. And then these cables go up there, as I've said on a few other videos and into the board. But now we've got our 400 amp main switch. We have got a 63 amp circuit, which is temporary going up to that board above us, the Hager board. We've then got the garage board, which is just for the ramps and the roller doors. That's on a 63. And then we've got DB1, which is just temporarily powering that board around the other side. So that's going to come out. And then DB2, which is up in the offices. Now that DB1 will be reused because it's got a sub main in it that goes off to that building, as I've said before. So we're going to take that out of this board and that's then going to come around and into here. And that's why we've not really done too much with any of the containment as yet, because we need to mess about with that big time. Matt has worked like a Trojan today. He's even cut his little finger, haven't you, Matthew? Is it still bleeding? Let's have a look. He's the walking you, wounded. You might have to add a gore warning. Yeah, gore warning. He um he had his gloves on as well, didn't you? Had your gloves on? Yeah. So PPE was PPE was been worn. I don't know where John's gone. Um, we'll try and catch him before we go. Obviously, we've just a bit of sweeping up to do. Let's see if we can catch Mr. Backley. Actually, I'll cut to him in a second. We'll have a chat with him. Okay, so just a quick chat about the install in general. Obviously, this is a program of works we're trying to fit in on a very short window of time on a Sunday. So we get kind of an eight, nine hour window where we can work and um, get through as much as possible. You'll have seen earlier on on the channel, we've covered this a few times before, where we've moved little bits and pieces slightly further towards the finishing line. And this is another step on that journey. It's not the finished article. It is work in progress, quite clearly. We still need to get a supply cable pulled over to this new MCCB panel board. We've got the intake area to upgrade once that old distribution board is gone. And we can look to get our new supply into that MCCB panel board. Also remove the sub-main back to that board, if that makes sense. And also take out the valet room or the valet building and pop that into the MCCB panel board direct. There's loads more other bits and pieces to get sorted. And it's one of those chicken and the egg kind of things, I guess, where you've got to move something to make space for something else. And in doing so, it's sort of a temporary slash permanent installation that works in the interim and is safe and serviceable, quite obviously. And that's what this is. The, you know, it looks a bit odd with the piddly little cables coming into that massive 400 amp TPM board, but the full rating of that thing is eventually going to be used as we make the additions that are planned in the future with these EV charge points that are going to be going in and also just tidying up everything. It's been it's one of those installs that's been added to and added to and added to over the years and everything is beyond its usable capacity. So we're kind of having to do a stop and reset, reposition our distribution boards in a place that makes more sense for the use of the building and also give them a bit of future capacity to be able to do the things that they've got planned. Um, and yeah, whilst if we could have a massive shutdown for a week or something, we could strip out what was there, move everything about where it needs to be, reconnect everything and get everything back on. It's not a realistic probability for the way that business operates. So we've had to kind of work with them, do it more slowly, more gently, but always making sure we get the power back on 
for them hitting everything up on a Monday morning. So yeah, that's that's what we're on with this. It is a little bit um, off piece, if you like, for what a normal install might look like. But I can't emphasize enough, if you're training to be an electrician, you're gonna come across this. It's not all Instagram beautiful installs with huge shutdowns and loads of space to work. Sometimes you're reworking things that are really difficult and just trying to get it back together in a way that, that works and makes sense for your client um, without annoying them. Because that's the last thing you want to be doing as somebody who's working in a business is upsetting your customers. And don't get me wrong, sometimes those hard conversations need to take place and you do have to arrange for big shutdowns so you can do your work. But generally, you can work around people and start to try and piece bits and bits together. And that's what these series of videos are really to try and show. That it isn't easy, but it's possible. And the end result, we're going to show you the journey towards that. We'll get there in the end and we can show you this all finished up with our new supply cables in there, our new submains, and all of the new DBs full of electrical circuits. Um, and yeah, just a step on the way. So don't be too harsh in the comments. I realise very much that this is not finished. It's a work in progress. Without further ado, let's get back to it. So that's the board with the front shirt. Obviously, there's still lots of labelling to do, as I said, and we'll be back to get on with that. Um, I'll shut up now. A long and busy, dirty day. Uh, couldn't have done it without Matthew and John as well. So we've got lots done. It's always a bit of pressure on when you're turning the power off on a Sunday and everyone's back in working on the Monday. So if you're ever faced with that as an apprentice where you've gone into work to help your boss and they seem a bit arsy and stressy, there's a good reason for it, so bear with them. Um, it's just one of those things you find yourself doing when you work in construction and people can't have water or power or gas or whatever else turned off during the week. Um, you have to do these things and we've made a decent job of it today if i do so thanks john for your help that's good no thank you for doing this nice as ever to see you and i'm sure we'll be working with you again soon who, who are you having on uh the next youtube video you got any other famous yeah, people you're off working got, with uh bundy are oh, you gonna have a bit of time with nick again yeah nick and adam are coming down nice um simon um is that simon has, has no, no skills, skills yeah, yeah follow him on insta uh, Good stuff. I'm sure there's going to be a few others. Nice, Approach nice. A few others that want to help out. And, uh... Yeah, I liked your starring reel with Mike the other day as well with your Schneider boards. I was a bit envious of you with a nice Schneider DB <laughs> to work with. Collaboration with the, the master. Yeah, he's... Oh, Mike's really good, isn't he? You forget, he was, he's yeah, only like he 24, 25, but what apps? Is he 26 yeah, now, is he? Yeah, Still, know, what a legend. He's um, got a very mature attitude to, to it, everything. Yeah, he does. Um, he does. Quite disparity with some people I've met. And, uh, yeah, like Matthew. Yeah, Matthew's switched <laughs> on. He's worked hard for the last. He has, hasn't he? Matthew moves so quick. I know. Yeah. He's even injured himself. He works quicker on Sunday, some reason. Yeah, we'll have to get him out more often on yeah. our weekend. So <laughs> what, no tray? Yeah, we have got that train uh, up there. It's yeah, all... it is. These are the old boards, but they still work and they still meet, you know. That's well, it. that's it. We've had a few issues with the EV boards, haven't we? They're brand yeah. new. We've got our nice new Hager board and the new MCCB board, so progress. Yeah, progress. I'll change some of these lights tomorrow, so... Uh... Are you back in tomorrow? Just to do yeah, that. make sure everything's okay. Make sure, you know, just sort of like... Smooth in the go over because there's nothing worse than something's not working or something's gone. Exactly right, yeah. You know, we're here on site. You know, I'm not far away end of the country and you're not the other end of the country. That's it. It's always a it's, worry. It's not good <laughs> in a big client like this. Yes. Exactly. But, yeah. Thank you all for watching. If you've got any comments, drop them in below. If you want to get in touch with John, I'll pop his Instagram in the description of this video as well. I think he's just past 2,000 followers actually, so join the gang. It's a growing club. And we will see you on the next video very soon.